From 2018 demons to 2022 jailbreaks, let's talk about these horrid challengers. So you made it to our video, you're loving what you see, you've got to make sure that that button below says subscribe. We give away a $250 gas card to one lucky subscriber every month and it could be you. So you're going to get great content, you're going to get a chance to win some money, what could be better than that? Let's get back to the video. Now while both these beasts boast the absolute craziest performance and power, there are some slight differences. Today we're going to go over the 2018 demon that we see here and we're also going to be reviewing this 2022 jailbreak behind me. And At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what the main differences are between these two powerful, powerful monsters. So let's get to it. Now this 2018 demon is number 3003 in the 2018 new build. And this is quite the immaculate vehicle that we have here. So under the hood, we're gonna get right to it. Under the hood, we have a 6.2 liter SRT supercharged Hemi engine with an eight speed torque flight, high performance automatic transmission. While the Challenger typically pumps out 808 horsepower, when equipped with a $1 demon crate package, your demon will be strapped with a special engine controller to unleash its full potential under the hood and allow it to cover a quarter mile in 9.65 seconds at 140 miles per hour. Now while this demon looks like most challengers do not be fooled, it actually takes 115 parts that they need to change to make this demon the absolute monster that it is to be street legal. But we're going to get a little bit more into that later. Now the demon actually sports 18 inch uh, whole shot aluminum wheels with uh, drag strip tires on it which actually grip the road better. But the whole idea is to keep this as lightweight as possible because we want it to fly across the pavement. So doing the 18 inch gives it a little bit less weight on the uh, vehicle itself. In paint color torrid and badged as a demon with those wide body fender flares the Challenger rides low with a satin black rear spoiler and a demon air grabber hood. Now this is a taller wider hood scoop that we have in the front here that is actually a better air, air intake system and it measures 45.2 square inches and the best part about it is is the technology underneath which is the air grabber technology. The system channels the air in the underside of the demon's aluminum hood to a larger air box which doesn't draw any air from the hot engine bay. Some other features of note on the Demon include bright dual rear exhaust tips, heated exterior mirrors, LED tail lamps, and red brake calipers. Now the 2018 has the Laguna leather uh, bucket seats in the front here. It's very, very similar to many other Challengers. They don't change it, they, they keep the cockpit as it is. Um, but you actually have these Alcantara suede inserts that travel all the way to the door. We've talked about this in other videos before, but the Demon is top of the top, uh, creme de la creme. So you wanna make sure you have the best of the best of it. Adding on the leather rear seats at the time gave your rear passengers child seat setup, front and rear luxury floor mats, and a 60-40 split folding bench with rear seat armrest and Holder. You have to add on the comfort and audio group though to really amplify your demon. It's going to give you an upgraded Harman Kardon 18 speaker sound system, bright pedals, front and rear floor mats, front heated and ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel with power tilt telescoping steering column. If you add on the Demon Vehicle Storage Package, you're gonna get a car cover and a Mopar battery manager to ensure your baby stays in mint condition even after all these years. All right, let's move over to the 2022 jailbreak. With 807 horsepower and that 6.2 liter under the hood, the jailbreak goes head to head with the Demon Standard horsepower and matches the wide body stance with the fenders and suspension. Now, like the Demon's performance capabilities, the jailbreak also has some similarities, which include an SRT power chiller, launch assist, and SRT performance pages. Not everything comes standard though on the jailbreak, so things like the 3.09 rear axle that you're going to have to add on uh, does come standard on the Demon, but you will have to add it on to the jailbreak to give it a little bit more kick off the line. Now again, remember the 18 inch came on the Demons because they want to keep it as lightweight as possible, but on the jailbreak, no, 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 no. We have some 20 inch carbon black wheels with three season Pirelli tires. When we head inside, you can add on Laguna leather with Hellcat logo, which adds ventilated seats to the front and brings your leather all the way to the door trim. You also get a power tilt telescoping steering wheel and radio driver seat and me mirror memory settings for the driver. Some other singular features you can add on to your jailbreak break to make it a little bit more luxurious like the Demon include. The 19 Harman Kardon sound system, automatic high beam headlamp control, demonic red seat belts, and body colored power heated folding mirrors. Okay, so we talked the Demon, we talked the jailbreak. So what are the big differences between the two? Because they're very similar in look and very similar in performance. Now, while the Demon is as close to a track car as you can get while still being street legal, the performance doesn't only stem from the horsepower. It actually comes from the specialized upgrades to the vehicle. For example, the transmission comes with a trans brake that helps launch the car harder 
powder and stabilizes it with the super sticky tires to grip the pavement. Now I said before, one of the biggest things is making this vehicle as lightweight as possible. Switching those wheels out to the 18s actually uh, takes off about 60 pounds. And things like having uh, the rear drivers or the rear passenger seat deleted actually save you some weight as well. So there's a lot of uh, key features. Like I said, 115 uh, changes made to make this as lightweight as possible so that I can go as fast as possible with as, uh, less re as least resistance as it can. While the jailbreak earns top marks for performance, with the mentioned Demon Crate added on, the adjustments made to this vehicle make the Demon superior. That being said, they don't make this anymore. So that means that if you pick up a jailbreak, you're gonna rule the roads with the most power possible. Unless you've got the cash to pick this one up. Well, there you have it. That's been your look at the 2018 Demon and the 2022 jailbreak. Drop a comment, leave a like. I wanna know what you think. And remember, nobody beats a deal from deal.